<laughs> that I, I, before. I wish that they could see us during the break because the, the yelling started very quickly <laughs> between these two. <laughs> All right, listen, if you're looking to reconnect with nature and then, of course, keep your kids entertained this summer, here's something to think about. The Lake Erie Nature and Science Center, and here's why. Uh, the center recently opened with their new wildlife gardens. This is a $1.9 million transformation that creates more engaged learning about native animals. And our growing STEM camera went to Bay Village to check it out. Here at Lake Erie Nature and Science Center, our mission is to help connect people with nature. Nothing is more rewarding and fulfilling than spending time out in nature, having an awareness of what we are a part of, we have three structures in our new wildlife gardens, a brand new awesome habitat for our bald eagle Icarus. He's been with us for over 10 years. He has an incredible habitat with an upgraded pond, much more space, a living tree inside of his habitat. All of our aviaries also have zoo grade mesh, which allows for visitors to have much better visibility of these animals. <laughs> also allows the animals to have greater visibility out and up because uh, we have the ceilings meshed as well, the roofs, so that the natural elements can be a part of their life. And we also have a really cool space new to the public to be able to see our wildlife rehabilitation in its last stages. So you, generally you'll peek in through one-way glass and see waterfowl regaining their waterproofing so that they can be released back into the wild. This is Artemis. We're very excited too because this new renovation allows us to have enhanced programming. Uh, one of our most popular programs here at the Nature Center is called Junior Keeper. Uh, this year we expanded that and have added Grown Up Keeper because we found that so many adults wanted to come and see what Junior Keeper was all about. All the birds that you will see in our wildlife gardens are permanent residents. They are non-releasable. Most of them are former rehabilitation patients. So they would really struggle to survive out in the wild. So they have a new mission here with us to help educate the public on these cool species.